Hey guys, Luke Klinker here from Sliding Messaging. Just wanted to show y'all what I've been working on lately. Um, so I've made this all new slide over two, I'm calling it. You know, it's got new actions, new um, new features, I guess. So let's just start it off with that. So there's this new click and drag option, something that I'm sure all of you have been waiting for for a while. And then there's also a double tap to adjust the sliver width. Uh, you just slide your finger across the screen and it does that for you. Uh, there's some new animations, you know, it doesn't go dark until you've crossed that line now. Um, this is something I actually added in the latest version, so some of you might have noticed it already, but it makes for a lot cleaner experience. Um, and then the new feature I really wanted to show you, a single tap on the uh, slide over bubble is going to open up this new quick window feature I'm calling it. So it's just quick access to your latest conversations. Um, still a little rough around the edges right now, but it's working really really well. The functionality is all there. Um, you know, the whole point of it is to kind of open on top of whatever you're doing. So like say you're watching a YouTube video or Netflix or something, it's not going to close that app. Um, it's not going to pause it at all. So, you know, this is just, um, you can drag it around here snaps to the bottom as you can see there but it's just for quick access it's a quick window into your conversations i guess um it's not going to do anything with replying if you want to reply and you can just tap that and it's going to open up your slide over pop-up like we've always said then you can close the pop-up with the bubble just like always um, you can also close the quick window here with the bubble it's going to do a nice animation i guess and fade off so there you go um, just a quick look at slide over two plus the new quick window feature I made. Thanks.